fake. It's time to be honest. With all due respect. I don't know who them people talking to and I don't know who them people have. I talk to blood family. Yes, I did. And the first thing his family told me was I just, first of all, I was told to call them Let's set that straight first. Because I ain't going to lie. When tragedies happen in people's families, you don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I can't tell you how people feel. So I be scared to call and say anything because I don't even know what to say. When I see you in person, I be scared like you're a ghost. I don't even know what to say. But I'm going to be honest and say this. I was told to call his family members. And his family member told me, I just want to say thank you. For being there for my brother and putting up with my brother. To no friend is to no friend if you know you know. And I'm going to be honest and I'm going to say names. I ain't throwing no slangs. Fred got into it with all his friends. At one point, Fred was hanging with Fred. That's it. Now, I see, and I'm going to be honest, I see Kino making his post. I see Woody making his post and I see Tap Out making his post. Now let's be honest. Like I just said, Fred gets into it with all his friends because that's what Fred do. So to know Fred is to know Fred. Woody have his opinion and I understand. And yes, Fred and Woody had a fight. Tap Out has his side and how he feel to have his feelings and yes tap out and Fred had a fight Kino has to say what he has to say and feels how he feel and yes Fred and Kino had a fight that's Fred being Fred friend you're going to get into it with friends with Fred and on top of that friends get into it with friends but it's very amazing to me how y'all getting on this internet bashing each other. When we all know that ain't what Fred won't. If you know Fred, you know Fred. God forbid if anything was to happen to any one of us and Fred was still here, you better believe Fred was going to hook up speakers somewhere and be ready to wrestle. I get it. But let's make it make sense. And let's be totally honest about the situation. Because see, people throwing subliminals and ain't saying names. But let's be honest. I'm going to use another example. Because at the end of the day, one plus one will always equal two. So let's use this as an example. Let's use celebrities, for example. Real celebrities, for example. Um. Um. Cardi B and Nicki Minaj they may not see eye to eye but they ain't really beefing so they could be in the same place together probably you know what I'm saying they could probably even be on the same lineup together they ain't friends but they ain't beefing you get it Meek Mill in 69 you know damn well Meek Mill in 69 ain't gonna be in the same area together it's beef is beef was understood ain't got to be explained and that's on that certain people shouldn't be doing or saying certain things and it is what it is called a speed of speed all that this one said this and this one did that and i called this one for this and i called this one for that let's be honest some people shouldn't be saying anything about this situation child listen at the end of the day, everybody have their own motive on what they doing and why they doing it. Do I think Fred and Tap Out was friends? Of course they were, and I knew they were. Do I think Fred and Keaton was friends? Yes, they were, and I knew they were. Do I think Woody and Fred was friends? 
Yes, they were. And yes, I do feel that they were. But friends get into it with friends. Ain't no friendship perfect. Me and my friends fuss and curse each other out on a daily. But you better believe, God forbid, if something happened to any one of us, we go be there for each other, period. Speaking or not, that's just how friendships go. Nobody friendship is perfect. Maybe Woody and, and, and Fred was not speaking at this moment. But them boys been friends for years. To be honest, Fred and Woody probably was friends longer than any one of them other people. You get it? At the end of the day, y'all got to stop comparing situations. Please stop comparing situations. I get all sides. I understand all sides. But one side, I'm just not getting. One side just ain't siding to me. And that's just the that's just the nature of the beast. One side just ain't siding to me. Now, it's a problem when Keith says something. It's cool when other people say something, but it's a problem when I say something. But I'm going to just say what it is. So if all these balloons, balloons, if all these balloons being flown all over the place, you better believe I'm going to be there for the balloons being flown all over the place. But I don't just, I, some situations I just don't understand, but fuck who am I? I'm, I have an opinion, just like everybody else have an opinion. So I ain't going to say too much or nothing. I'm supporting whoever's supporting Fred, and that's just what it is point blank period y'all ain't got to go back and forth on nobody's social media and fuss back and forth about who was the closest friend and who doing what and who did this and who did that at the end of the day if you're supporting fred support fred period if you don't want to support you ain't got to support people who doing stuff period it's easy all this back and forth getting into it and all that is uncalled for y'all is doing too much please now they got people trying to get on here So I'm going to add everybody Who trying to get on here Oh yeah, Love and Heartbreak is tonight But let me just play this Because this was sent to me This was sent to me And I'm going to just play this And I just want This was sent to me This is an open This is an open platform Anybody can come on here And say anything that they want to say this is an open platform. For the third time, the Key Carroll Show is an open platform. And I was asked to play this video. So I'm going to play this video. This video was posted. If it was posted, that means it was posted for everyone to see. So I'm going to post this for everyone to see. This was just posted 30 minutes ago. And for who didn't see it, about to see it now. To all my haters, to everybody that's mad. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Where you going? Where you going? See, like real shit. I ain't gonna really go too deep on this dog uh, at all because I don't gotta prove nothing to nobody. You know I me? Mean? If you knew me and Fred, Thank we you. went through several fights, fuss, not talking, and guess what? Any day, nigga, it could have been two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I could have called Fred, man, let's go out to drink or come out here to Houston by took. Y'all got to understand, we wasn't speaking, but we got the same circle. We could be in the same house together, the same call. If I pass a guard, you think Fred not going to hit it? Come on, man. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all talking about, oh, well, you the same per man. Listen, I don't give a fuck what I said out of grief and, and, and anger being in my partner. Before this Instagram shit, dog, me and Fred had several fallouts. You know what I mean? But guess what? That didn't stop me from loving my dude, bro. That I never disrespect Fred 
to this day, never talk bad about it. I wanted Fred to change for the better. And that was my message to him for every time we got into an argument, bro. Like, Fred, you need to change. You need to change. Everybody around you change. You need to change your ways. In a good brother, big brother, little brother talk. A lot of shit Fred did, you know hear I me? Mean? As a big brother, I ain't look at the shit like how y'all look at it. You know hear I me? Mean? So at the end of the day, dog, I don't give a fuck what I post or how many times I posted. That was somebody I really fuck with. Long way, Jeremy. You know I mean? We struggle from where we come from. I got my platform from hanging around Flips and Fred D Boy. But Woody, I'm gonna be honest, Woody, and I'm just listen. I trust me. I swear to God, I understand you. I get it. Me and you talked. I get it. I understand it. I know tap out. Been on tap out for years. I get tap out. I understand tap out. I understand Kino. I understand Ray. I understand where everybody coming from. But I must give you my opinion. Me. God forbid, if anything was to happen to my friends or somebody I call a close friend or best friend, brother or sister, me running to the internet with it, I wasn't do. I wouldn't do it. I just know me. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't have time to do it. I just would. I would have so much going on in my in my head and in my life that I wouldn't have the time to constantly upload stuff on the internet. I just wouldn't do it. So at this point, and I don't, and I'm not saying this is you, but this is what people are saying to me, and I understand that too. At this point, it just looks like everybody, not putting know, a finger no, at but look, one but person. Look, geez, it seems geez. like everybody. Trying and to I'm, prove who I'm was a close to friend that that's, that's all what right. it seems like. At the end of the day, y'all, at the end of the day, all y'all, not saying all y'all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not saying all y'all, but it seems like everybody who's doing that, it seems like they're not right, even that's respecting my the point family. right there. That's my point from the jump. That's my that. point from the jump, bro. I, so I talk to people, bro. It's like, not. it's not like I'm not in close, like I can't get in touch with this man, mother, sister, brother, nothing like that, bro. Like, that's my whole point about it, dog. Like, in the end of the day, I don't got to prove nothing to nobody. Because niggas know, niggas that know me know that was my fucking dog. I might have been mad, he might have been mad, whatever, woo de woo de woo It's not no, I ain't trying to get no clout. Because if that was the case, we already got clout for these last 12, 10 years. You know what I mean? So it ain't about no clout for me. And I don't feel like, you know, for the people that's from Fred Inner Circle, I don't feel like it's clout from them either because they're going to grieve a certain way. I'm going to grieve the hardest. Y'all got to understand. I wasn't able to tell this man shit. Tell this man go. You hear me? Like, that's what's eating me up. I don't give a fuck about nothing y'all right. talking about. What fucked me up in there? I couldn't tell this man January right. 1st to put us on the phone. I couldn't tell this man, Fred, let's you know, we didn't went through this before. You hear me? But at the end of the day, what I am going to speak on, right. niggas doing bitch shit. The same nigga they won't let this man see his daughter is now, since he's gone, want to do all this dumb ass shit. I'm really, really emotional when it comes to people I love, dog. And I get like this. It don't matter, son. I'm a Aquarius. I love her hard. You hear me? So at the end of the day, it don't matter what breakdown stage I go through, I'm going to be fucked up. All the people that was in this circle while me and was beefing, y'all got a leeway. I'm I'm trapped. I'm stuck. I can't tell Fred this. And I, can, I can talk to him in my prep, but in actuality, physically, he not here. Mentally, he here. You hear me? Mentally, the nigga here. He's still here. So there's a lot of shit that be going on. I be saying I be trying to not uh, not entertain the shit, but I'm on my phone. Either I'm talking to my girl, I'm trying to play the game. I'm on my phone, and the fake shit keep just. I can't allow that to happen. I understand. I I, I told you I understand. Like I I, I text Uka early six o'clock in the morning saying I understand what you're going through, but it's a better way to deal with things. All that venting and, and all that on the social media. I just feel like y'all could do it a better way. And it seems like to me, and I'm just saying, not it seems, I know y'all, but it seems like the other people who don't know y'all but know y'all through social media, it seems like everybody's trying to prove who's a better oh, friend. You know, I understand. I speak love, God, because, like, the man, I, they'll call the man post. I understand what you're saying. Who, I understand what you're saying. I understand. My partner ain't fuck with a lot of these niggas, dog. My partner ain't fuck with a lot of these hoes. These hoes know what they was. Like, they, like I ain't, one hoe just doing too much for me. Too much for me online. She's doing too much. 
Like my, you was a whole bopper, you was a whole flipper. Like my partner wasn't fucking with you like that, and you doing too much on this internet. Like a lot of this shit fake as a motherfucker. A lot of this shit fool. I was the only nigga around there that went around there. I was six o'clock at six thirty when I got the news. Seven o'clock, I was in front of Kizzy Doe, nigga. The only nigga out there. I was the only nigga out there. The only friend out there in front of Kizzy Doe, nigga. Me. I was the only one out there. You feel what I'm saying? No, I, I, deli I delivered a message to the people I knew that was close to me. Everybody knows Fred, man. Fred, Fred was a clown. Fred was egg as a motherfucker. He get drunk, Fred, get on your nerves. Straight up. I ain't get the man Fred ain't see eye to eye. When, you know, man Fred ain't see eye to eye. Y'all back on Fred for like two months. And some that day, some that day told me, like, call Fred. But my pride just ain't want me to let me call him. I got to text that morning that the partner died. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, right. he knew what it was. He one call, I was popping up in the in a situation. That's how it is. Uh, it's a lot of people just y'all get on this app right here, bro. Y'all get on this app, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I understand. Look, listen, Woody. I understand what you're saying, but at the end of the day, you cannot tell other people who had their own relationship with Fred I know on how to fix or how they want to fix. People go fix and do what they want to do. I never. Well, I was just trying to see. Did they highlight just like uh, Ben Woody talk about this? Like you know, they had the balloon. They got the balloon release, you know, today or whatever. But the family balloon release Saturday. Did anybody highlight the family and get permission? Uh, the the third balloon release today. That's what That's my what whole point to was, Keith. I That's told what I was trying to that. see. Because the family, know. the Jack family, like they said, fucking Jack with said, that. The family Jack said, said he did. They ain't fucking with it, bro. Jack all said he got permission. They got something Saturday. But this was listen, my I'm problem was never with Tap Out. I'm gonna go with It that never was with nobody. It was just I'm gonna go and that's what I'm saying. Let's go to the Let's go to the If they got because guess that. what? If it was y'all, God forbid, God forbid, but if it was y'all, if y'all had five a day, you best to believe you would be at all yeah, five listen, every day. Bro, I'm day. the one, listen, I'm I'm the one called Tap Out and told him the news. I called Josh and told him the news. This not this don't got nothing to do. With with tap out doing, I just felt like it should have been brought to the family because the immediate family said they didn't know nothing about it. All right. So at the end of the day, like it it, it could I, I talked to Josh. I can tell you I can I talked to Josh. They can say yo, do you permission to buy the balloons? You missing the whole yeah? It's fuck bro, with you stupid. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I understand what all y'all saying. I understand oh, where I'm, all y'all coming I'm from. I ain't listen, Keith, Keith, Keith. I don't understand listen, why I want everybody gonna do their everybody got their own habit of what they do, dog. I don't knock nobody on what they do. You feel what I'm saying? Leave them pills alone, Charlie. Leave, right. leave that shit alone, dog. Real rap. I don't knock nobody on what they do. Man, listen, Keith, dog. <laughs> Like, I know, just want, like if y'all gonna do this shit, bro, do the shit out of respect like for this man's family. Like this this man, but, man, this man, people still in disbelief. I'm like, hurting for the kids, you know, the next dog. Day, I swear to God. It's the next I day. I know my son, he lived his life. I'm hurting for them kids, dog. Fizz, Fizz, and fucking uh, Fizz, Fizz, dog. I swear to God. I know how much the fucking kids mean to him, dog. And that's the only, that's the only reason I'm like really fucked up. I'm fucked up. For the kids, you feel what I'm saying? Well, definitely. I don't know definitely. what to tell Drika, dog. I don't know. I ain't take. I take Drika Jamal, but I don't know what to text. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm I'm lost. I don't know what to say, gang. Like, what can I tell her? You feel what I'm saying? I don't know what to say. And that shit just crazy. Like, it's just crazy. But people doing too much on the internet. Oh, well, child, bro. Y'all have a blessed day, dog. I'm, I'm out here trying to like, keep my yeah. mind off this, dog. And you hear me? That's that, bro. man. That's that. Uh, that's what it is, bro. You know what's up, right. though, dog. Like, you know, you ain't probably get a chance to tell him, you know, what it was with it, but he he know, gang. Like, you know. Shit crazy. But yeah, that's I, I ain't fucked up. I, I get ain't. fucked up for the kids, gang. I swear. I swear to God. Shit just crazy. We plan for everything. We ain't plan for this, though, gang. We ain't plan for this. You right. Shit crazy. I don't know. Uh, I just feel like I just I just feel like at the end of the day, everybody go vent how they want to vent. You can't bash one person. We can't bash. You can't bash one person from 
posting whatever they're posting because Fred had relationships with everybody. Every, you just, you just, yeah. I just feel like, I just feel like at this point, it looks like, it looks like, from all, all of us who are on the outside looking in, who don't know the different relationships that he had with other people, it just looks like everybody is trying to prove who was a better friend or who was a closer friend. When that doesn't matter, as long as you had a relationship with him. Ray 3.0, if he requested, I added him. What is you talking about? Girl, look up. I don't care what whoever see. They texted my phone. What they say? The girl in the comments. I don't give a fuck about no bitch in no comments. Fuck a hoe in the comments. Say whatever they're saying. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, I'm an I am an adult. I feel like with all of them is it just needs to stop and everybody needs to just support everybody. It is what it is. It, is, it everybody needs to support everybody. All this back and forth, status after status after status. I just wouldn't have the strength if I was if that was me. I just don't know. And then people in the comments, and I'm quite sure people who follow all these different people, probably DMing them people, saying this, saying that, boosting them people up and all that. I don't know what's going on. Let people vent how they want to vent. If they got a balloon, a balloon release every day, you better believe, if I can, I'm going to support everybody balloon release. I understand where Tap Out coming from. I understand where Unka, Hollywood, Josh, uh, um, Kino, whoever. I understand where all of them coming from. Ray, I understand where all of them coming from. Y'all got to just... If you... There go these calls these temp tags. They just flying out. Ain't, ain't using the blanket, just flying out. We these temp tags. There they go. They go to temp tags. They go to calls with the temp tags on it. Lord have mercy. They be shooting around. Girl, look. What I got to be careful for? They be shooting around there. Ooh, they do. Ooh, I forgot. Ooh, girl, I forgot from this past weekend, huh? Ooh, Lord. As you, you should, Uncle. As you should. I'm trying to add you. I see you just sent the request. I'm trying to add you. I am not on here. I don't know none of the people. I'm just on him to give me a shadow. Follow me, y'all. <laughs> girl, let me get a moderator in here, girl. This is not the time. Girl, these people is on edge. They've been can't follow you, found you, and push your shit back. Them people is not for it right now, Fat. I understand. I get it. But, girl, listen. These people is on edge right now. Them people live will follow you, find you, and push your shit back. Please, girl, not right now. Please. Oh, Lord, please. They're on edge right now. Please, just step back. Oh, Lord. Please don't look for a shout out right now, girl. Please. Girl, I'm telling you. These people on the edge right now. Girl, they pop, they live. I'm telling you, live on the follow you, find you, and push your shit back. Please. Don't get the shout out right now, girl. Please. Oh, Lord. Girl. Oh, Lord. Please. Fed, just stand back for a little while. Get the followers tomorrow. Get the followers tomorrow. Right now is not the time. These people are on the edge. I'm telling you. It's not like you're not from here anyway. Girl, please. Oh, Lord. This ain't the time, Fed. I'm telling you. Be careful, Fed. I'm telling you. If you ain't coming on here with words of wisdom or trying to calm this here down, Please don't come on here. What? 
What's going on? All right, there you go. Now I'm adding all these different people, and now they're declining. Please, that's what you should do, decline. This ain't the time. I'm telling you. These people is on the edge. Please. Please. Yes, Lord. I'm adding. I'm at you. I don't know what's going on. There you go. Look, I just want to say this. First of all, my heart go out to the family, first to the children, the girlfriend, the baby mama, everybody. The bounce game, really, because this hit hard for the bounce game. You heard me? Y'all got to understand, friends serve different purposes in different people's lives. Nobody can't say how nobody motherfucking feel about this day. Because if you let me tell it, New Orleans took a hit big, big. This is the bounce industry by itself, from Blazer, Cool, Shorty. The list could go on and on. Kelly Pouncy, Gunner could give it to you, but I'm not. I ain't got time. I'm not getting into that because they're ignorant. They don't want to hear that shit. The fucking children who trying to murder people who look up to people, all the DJs. Y'all got to understand. Y'all can't tell nobody how they got to feel about somebody. That, that is sick-minded. We don't know what people do when they're not around other people. You don't know who people know. That's another thing. They're going to serve different purposes in everybody's life. So y'all got to stop being so judgmental, which that's what they're going to do. You know, because that's what they do regardless. But, you know, I just want to say that my husband also a turn in the family. You know, fuck, everybody hurt me. You know, behind this shit. You know, especially, like, the bounce game. This hit hard. So, like, y'all just got to really step it up. Do y'all shit. And I'm out. That's all I had to say. Y'all press for the people, bro. For real. All right. Asta. All right, Gunna. You. That's right. Oh. Anybody else trying to come up here? You didn't say nothing before I get off the line. Her name is Gunner. Hey, Key. <laughs> Y'all don't rest on me, hey, what's but going on? I have a few words of encouragement. Um, prayers to the family. Um, yeah. We all know Fred isn't the only one that has, you know, passed away from substance abuse. A lot of these men, I don't know if y'all read my comments or whatever, but a lot of these men are running away from themselves and running away from past traumas, you know, dealing with substance abuse. And this, this is at an all-time high. All of this is celebrated. Oh, oh, I got pills. Oh, oh, I got these and oh, I got that. You know, and, and they have children, you know, that, that look up to that. So with this being a big loss for the city, I also feel like if anything, this is where the city should be coming together the most. Everybody knows somebody that's popping a pill. Everybody know that knows somebody that has died from this situation. And of course, in the next 24 hours or, or less, somebody else is going to have this, you know, this same detrimental thing that happened to their life that causes more trauma. Um, they have a lot of mental resources, you know, mental health resources out here for people to get. And I honestly feel like I don't care what hood you from, what you doing, you know, on your spare time, how you making your money? Guess what? If you can sell drugs and buy pills, you can definitely buy and pay for to get a good therapist. It is frowned upon in a black community. 
for us to to hold um certain things in our own hands. Oh, so, I'm not getting a therapist. Um, oh, I'm not crazy. Ain't nothing wrong with me. The thing about it is, sometimes it's good to to talk to some someone that you don't know because you may feel like, guess what? They're not gonna judge me. But instead, we you know we lean upon our own understanding and our God's understanding. So they have the necessary resources for, you know, for people to get help and they just need to take heed of that. And it's not also just, you know, some people, of course, you know, they need insurance or whatever, but also they have even therapists on Zoom. You pay $15, they even have crisis hotlines. Nobody ain't got to know you calling a crisis hotline. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I understand. Thank you. Thank you for the um words of encouragement. Thank you. But um, that's what I feel with with um with black people. You know what I'm saying? Um, people say all kind of stuff. None of I don't know. I'm not gonna say none because some people are nosier than others. I don't know what was the cause of death. I don't know what was the cause of death. I'm not a doctor. I don't think she was a doctor or a psychiatrist. I don't know what she had or what she is. She probably read magazines like everybody else. Not taking nothing away from her. But we're not going to get on here talking about substance abuse and all that because none of us know what had happened. So let's just keep it cute. Let's give our condolences to the family. And let's support all these friends that Fred had. So Tap Out was his friend, is his friend. Tap Out said that he's giving him a balloon release and a DJ today. Support it, y'all. Support what these people are doing. They say it's from the heart. If they ain't asking for no money. The friends. Tap Out giving a DJ is free for the people. Tap out says the balloon release is free to put, let the balloons go into the air. Just support everybody, y'all. The first flyer that um, Minicat uploaded from the family saying that the balloon release is Saturday, Minicat just called me and said that they changed the location. So I deleted the flyer. I'm only being, to, I'm only doing what I'm only reposting or posting or saying was coming from credible sources that may know something. Not discrediting anybody else. I'm just saying. So now let's just keep rolling. There's a time with y'all. Hey, Keith, I'm going to be real quick. Um, We don't know what happened with Fred. Um, We just know that he's real known in the city of New Orleans or whatever. But that's real. What y'all are saying, especially to the people that don't know him, he has kids. And I'm pretty sure his children are old enough. Well, not the younger two, but the oldest one probably could see this shit, hear this shit or whatever. And y'all saying he died from drugs. Y'all don't know what he died from. So kind of be respectful of his Thank kids you. and his baby mamas right now because they hurt him. Like, what if that was your family member and he was known in New Orleans and y'all talking about him like this? Like, that shit not cool. Have exactly. Some, some kind of respect exactly. for the dead, not a friend situation. I get that because I fell out with family members and friends. I get all that. And sometimes people push you away, but the love don't change. So respect them people, yep. respect their grief, respect what the fuck they're going through. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, just mind your fucking business. Because Don't say nothing not at all. No money to the funeral, y'all not doing nothing for them. Like, just leave it alone. It's that simple. That man has kids. Like it's and, free. It's free. It's free to be quiet. It's free. It's free. It, it's not that hard. Like, people need to mind their business. Like, it's really not that hard. Send your condolences, send your respect, send your love, send your prayers. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, keep it moving. Like, it's it's not that hard. That's all I have 
to say like y'all are really disgusting in these comments like I had to come up here and say that because that shit is ridiculous that's right thank you drive me thank you Faye thank you Faye I totally agree with everything she said totally agree <laughs> oh, girl, please. They go come get you, bitch. Girl, let me get you off here. Why would you come on here and say that? Oh, Lord. Girl. Mm -mm. Let me get a moderator in here. Let me get a moderator on here. So these, these some of these people could be aso la vista up off of here. Uh-huh. And that's what I'm gonna have to do. Let me get a moderator up in here. Mm hmm That's what we got to do. No, girl, please. If I let you be the moderator, girl, ain't gonna be nobody gonna be in here but me and you. Your trigger finger is serious. I'm adding them. That's where I'm at. Oh, girl, I've been looking for you, girl. I ain't want to call your phone because I ain't know what to say. Hold up, before you say anything, I want, I was going to call you, but fat, I swear to God, I ain't know what to say. And, and, and just like you support, body. just like you support I'm everybody sorry, else, long. you better pull up by pie pie. I'm going to be there today. Girl, I'm going to be right. there today, 530, right. right. by See, your listen. mama house. I just want to listen, Girl, please. listen. I, look, I don't want fun. I love you. I love you. I don't want fun. I, I, I just want to thank tonight. people. Like, people really fucking showing love. Like, this man. They didn't spend so much money, like food, whatever, like couldn't like prayers, like that shit is working. But look up. I'm gonna be there for you today. I just I'm telling to tell you, I'm gonna be there. When Minnie can't beat Tiara up, I'm not jumping in. You could, you could, you could drive me. <laughs> when Minnie can't beat the fuck out Tiara, I am not jumping in. I, I don't have to, like, I, 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 our colors is also red, black, and white, and it's for five o'clock, the same time. And um, I just feel like Fred be there. would never want to take because Fred fucked it with Lena, so they should have get that on another day. Yeah. Right, yeah, like we celebrating mama, right Fred and Lena. I'm coming. I'm we Thank you. Celebrating. You're celebrating Fred and Lena. I'm going to be there today, fat as well. I was going to call you, but I didn't know what to say. I was going to call you because I got your mama number two, but I didn't, know, right. I didn't know what to say. It's all right. I'm sorry. Fat Everything Lord. Right. I know how close, I know how close you and your brother yeah. was. Lord, I got a video you. with you dancing with him. A video. Yes, Lord. Girl, please. <laughs> call the hands. Long dicky. He fucking handle hands. He definitely handle hands. We were going to call all day today, 5 o'clock. 
He definitely go ahead, him. Go ahead to the girl. He please. did him. Oh, yeah. We definitely go through that. Today. So that's what we're getting ready Ooh, for. So cold. you could drop me. Y'all just show up and show out. All right. All right, baby. All right. That's really my that's really my little baby. That was Stacy. Her brother was killed Sunday. Um around the vibe. That was the, with the car incident. Girl, they cutting up in New Orleans. And listen, see, so you could see that I wasn't lying. Me and Stacy are close. I've been knowing Stacy for years. Before Katrina, I've been knowing Stacy. Stacy out the same but no. I didn't know what to call it and tell her. I'd be scared because I don't know what to say. I can't say I know how you feel, because I don't. I'll be lying. I hate to hear people say that. I know how you feel. I'm so you don't know how I feel, so don't tell me nothing like that. You can flip my little girl. So I got to watch what I say to stay happy. She did come on here and say that girl life is short. Oh Lord. And all her brother wanna do is have fun and lay the dick down and throw dick and crowball. Yes, Lord. We go cut up today for that same but no, yes indeed. I don't know, y'all. Life is short. Y'all got to pray. Y'all get this on here talking about Key Carol this, Key Carol that, and this and this and that. Key, girl, Key Carol goes to church every Sunday and pray for everybody. I even pray for my haters and enemies. Well, why I got no enemies? But I even pray for my haters and I pray for the ones who dislike me. Do. For real, for real. Life is short. That's crazy. But Stacey, I'm going to be that for you to do fat. I wanted to call you, but I ain't know what to call you and say. I'm happy you came on here, fat. Lord. Oh, booty girl, please. You know Stacy is flipped by the mouth. Today on Paris, behind Popeyes. On hey, Paris, you just behind a Popeyes. Now you sneak in and be on the phone. Oh, I'm sorry, Rafael. But I ain't gonna I'm tell sorry. you I am Keita. I just, you know, you know who I am, but I ain't gonna, you know, let the people know. But yeah, Keith. Why you at that? I don't know who you is. Let me see. I, I don't know. Keith. The profile picture's a girl. No, no that's fine. This Reggie. Keith. This who? Oh, Reggie. Oh, what's going on? What's up, Fafe? Nothing much. I'm cooling. It's sad. A lot going on in New Orleans right now. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I don't live. Yeah, mm -mm. I don't live there. Uh, you in Dallas, huh? They okay. got a lot going on here, too, but mm-mm. Hey, but I've been coming out. All right. You have them ready for tomorrow. I'll bring you with them. Yeah, yeah, yo, it's a lot going on. Rich Hall Collections, oh yeah, St. Bernard shit, what's up? Go be out there. Uh -huh. This is a time. This ain't the time for all today, I'm telling you. I got three minutes left. I got to go walk in. Uh huh, sound about right. Say this, Buck was the one that gave Fred them pills. So when Roe come home, so when Roe come no, home, no, 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 so when Roe come get home, he can't roll to the No, get the fuck up off me, bro. Get up off me, I'm still a beast. Please get, that's what I'm saying. Y'all go as far on this social media. Now, they done got your page, whoever you was, Cheryl P. They're going to find you, follow you, and push your shit off the map. Now, don't come, I'm not, I'm not beefing with Buck. I have nothing against Buck. We just went out our separate ways. No beef. But please don't come on here saying that he done did something and then did something with this boy passing away. Y'all go fall on the social media. Now that's it for me. I'm going to get up off of here because y'all go fall. And I'm not playing right now. I'm not joking. Y'all go fall on this social fucking media. It's too motherfucking much on here. The disrespectful bunch of bitches. You nasty cum bucket. You's a nasty.